What's up? Welcome back to the channel. We're looking at another dumb phone this week, the Minimal Phone from Minimal Company. You guys have been just loving the dumb phone, dumb device genre, and honestly, I have too. I want to try all of them. I think it's such an interesting thing, and if you haven't heard of Minimal Company, I had someone suggest that I review this product in one of my other videos, and then my editor Ben, what up Ben, actually sent me a link to this as well. So we're gonna dive in here and just kinda look through their websites and marketing materials here and then see what we think. So we'll go ahead and jump in. So here's their website. First thing I see is that price point, $399. I guess it will retail for $499. That's pretty cool. You know, in the market where this new light phone is what, $700, something like that. We've got wise phone kind of around this price point as well. But as you can see by this spinning, flipping, super distracting animation here, this is cool. It is an e-ink device, but I think they fixed one of my major problems with light phone too, which was that typing on the e-ink wasn't the best functional thing to do. They've added a keyboard. So for fans of BlackBerry, this already probably kind of brings back some nostalgia, some memories there. It has a physical keyboard and an e-ink display. I personally think this white everything model is the best looking. You're going for this whole black and white aesthetic. Their whole site is like this too. So this looks cool. So some things I'll note, right? 230 PPI good readability. I mean, in these mock-ups, it looks really clean and nice. I'd be interested to see how far away the screen is from the front glass, because it looks like there's no shadow here, but it is a mock-up. Four by three aspect ratio, 4.3 inch device, I guess, which is fairly small. Physical QWERTY keyboard. You know, the biggest thing when you look at a device this small and the buttons are are we gonna have fat fingers? Are we gonna be hitting tons of different buttons at once on accident? Are our hands gonna cramp? Obviously, again, these devices, we're not meant to be texting on them all day long or using them all day long. Maybe your hand cramping will be a sign to, hey, get off your phone a little bit. For some reason, when I was looking at this the first time, I got really excited seeing this Taylor Swift song. <laughs> I'm a Taylor Swift fan. I gotta admit, I, I think she's a really smart person and a huge business model for a lot of businesses out there, especially the entertainment side of things. So anyway, I digress. It's cool that, you know, Spotify's on here. They're showing some of the buttons. Full Android access, which may or may not pique your interest. A lot of people don't want full access to all the apps there. They don't wanna be able to look at Instagram on their dumb phone. Some of you do want that, right? You want the full access to the library, but the device itself dumbs things down. So like you don't really want to look at Instagram on this because it's black and white, it's probably a little clunky. You know, as we're finding, as I've said before, in this dumb phone market, every single individual has their idea of what the perfect dumb phone would be. And it's hard to find that balance. So you see companies having to put their foot down in different areas and say, we're gonna do this, but not this. So in this instance, we're gonna make the phone dumb, but you'll be able to access the full app store that you want, which is interesting. 3000 milliamp hour battery, which is pretty cool. Looks like you have dual SIM cards, all apps available, extended ba battery life. There is a camera on the back. There's also an optional camera on the front, which is kind of cool. So let's look at connectivity here. There's some stuff, GPS, NFC, great. A lot of people ask for that. Uh, if you have that full access to Android apps, you can probably have payment software, bank software, stuff like that. So productivity here is just kind of showing you everything you can do. So the grip, soft, grippy texture, that's interesting. Okay, good. So you won't be dropping it all over the place, I guess, which is nice. These buttons and like, I don't know, they look really nice. All right, I want to click them. I want to feel them. Here's a little bit more. So you can see um, on the back, you have a 16 megapixel camera, which compared to these other smartphones that are starting to come out with like 64 megapixels and stuff, that's not the best. And you do have this optional, so I wonder if it's gonna cost more, five megapixel front camera, which is down in the bottom corner, which I guess that's the only place they can really squeeze it. I think that's kind of cool. I don't know, I don't use my front camera a whole, whole lot. So I don't know if that's gonna be weird for like FaceTiming and stuff. As you can see here, speaker, proximity sensor, volume up, volume down, e-ink refresh power button and fingerprint unlock. So that's interesting as well. You got some security there. There's some hardware stuff for you people who like that kind of thing. I don't care <laughs> more about if I'm playing with it and using it, does it work, you know? Ports, headphone jack, 
it's going to be exciting to a lot of you. USB Type C, and then you do have the dual SIM. There's your buttons, sensors, three axis G sensor, proximity sensor, light sensor, compass, gyroscope, flashlight, speaker, microphone, receiver, vibration. Yeah, good. There are your dimensions. So, yeah, about six inches tall, three inches wide. It's pretty cool. Android 14. It's cool. That's it. You know, that's all I can sort of speculate. I think this pebble color is the best looking. I just think it's like consistent color. The Onyx is pretty cool too, if you just like the black. I, I just think with the e-ink, you can't have a black, well, you can have a black screen, but I think Fusion is the worst looking one, then Onyx is second best in the pebble. That's just me. So let's say buy it right? So it's 20% off currently. I don't even see an option for the camera, like the five megapixel camera on the front. So I don't know how that's gonna work out. Let's come back here. They said what? Batch two limited release. So they're in batch two. I don't know how many devices in a batch, but order ship October of this year. So we're still a ways out. And you know, it's interesting. I think like this compared to Light Phone 3 that's coming out, Light Phone 3 has been in the game longer. They've got a leg up. And with Light Phone 3 coming out in like January, uh, it's going to come down to preference, right? I think what this has going for it is obviously like full app store access and the physical keyboard, the e-ink display. Like if you loved that about the Light Phone 2 or like the Books Palma device, this might be it for you. So I don't know. I They've all got their little quirks and things that set them apart from one another. I have reached out to the company like two or three times and gotten zero response. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get my hands on one or not. If anyone has a contact for them, like an email or something where I can reach out to maybe their marketing team or something, let me know in the comments. Thoughts? Let us know. Let's talk about it in the comments down below. I've really been enjoying this series of just like introducing new tech to people who might not have seen it or just talking about my thoughts on it for those of you who are really into this kind of stuff and knew about this a long time ago. So thanks to you all for recommending me to check this out and for Ben, my editor, for saying this and just being the best editor of all time. I mean, can we get a round of applause for Ben? Love you, dude. That does it. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, this style of video, leave a like on this one. Subscribe if you're new, and if you enjoy tech from an intentional living and minimalist perspective, check out this video next. I think you're gonna love it, and I'll see you all in the next one.